If John can shovel the driveway in three hours and his brother can shovel the driveway in two hours, how long will it take them working together to shovel the driveway? Okay, so basically what it is, you know, is combined rates. So we're using the, both the rates together. We're trying to find out how long it takes for them to shovel the driveway. So the way you want to think about this is like this. You want to think of it as the one person's rate times t the time that they spend plus the other person's rate times the time that they spend equals, in this case, one, which is one complete driveway, okay? So for John, he could, his rate is basically one third of a driveway per hour, okay? Because it takes him three hours to do the whole driveway, times the amount of time spent shoveling, right? Okay, now his brother, it takes him two hours, which means his rate is half a driveway per hour, Okay, so half of a driveway times the number of hours spent, okay, equals, we're trying to complete one whole driveway. Now, if they just started to start a uh, shoveling business and they're gonna shovel the whole neighborhood, you might wanna find out how long it takes for them to shovel four driveways or five driveways or six driveways working together. But here we're just trying to figure out how long it takes them to shovel the one driveway. And uh, so this is how you would set up the problem. Now, sometimes when you see it in your textbook, you might see it slightly differently. Like, they might have this as like T over three, okay, plus t over two, or it might even be x over three plus x over two equals one. But I just wanted to kind of show you like this, so it kind of makes a little bit more sense to you. Like, you probably learned the formula uh, distance equals rate times time. It's very similar to that. It's the rate times the time. So that's why I split it up like this. But of course, t is like t over one, so you can combine those into one fraction. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the denominators. And what you wanna do is you wanna multiply everything by the common denominator. So what's the smallest thing that three, two, and one all go into? Well, that's six, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the entire equation by six. So we're gonna distribute the six to the, each of the terms, okay, in the equation. We're doing it to both sides, left and right, so it's keeping the equation balanced. So when you distribute it to here, you're getting six t, okay, divided by three, plus six t divided by two equals six over one. But you can see this six divided by three, that's reducing or canceling down to two t. This is reducing or canceling down to three t, and this is just six. So that's why they call it clearing the denominators. You're eliminating the denominators. So now if we combine like terms, we get five t equals six. We divide by five, and you can see the time is gonna be one and one fifth of an hour. Okay, now if you wanna convert that into minutes, a fifth of an hour is uh, 12 minutes, right? Because 12 times five is 60. So well, there you go. So that's how you do a combined rate problem. Just think of it as splitting the rate and the time you know, separately, and then go ahead and add the two together to get the total. And you could have three people, four people, and, and so on. So I hope you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out some of my past videos, and I look forward to seeing a, a future video. I'll talk to you soon.